Hello, this is Miss Augustine, and today I'm going to walk you through using the lab quests. And we're going to be graphing on the Chromebooks using the Vernier Graphical Analysis app with the temperature sensor probes. So once you log into your Chromebooks, the home screen for the Abington School District um, Chromebooks looks like this. And you'll see over here there is a Chromebook apps. I've got an arrow pointing to it. So you're going to click on that. And once you are clicking on the apps link, it puts you to the home page uh, for the apps, for Abington School District apps. And you're going to have to scroll down in order to find the Vernier app. And when you scroll down, it says graphical analysis and you'll see there's an arrow and that's the one that you're going to click on. Now once you've done it once and most of you will have done this with me in lab, you will uh, add the extension to your Chrome account. And when you do that then when you click on this graphical analysis um, icon, <coughs> sorry, icon, it will take you to the app launch page. And so when you click on it, the uh, Vernier launch page looks like this. And what you're going to have to do is go up to this little spot over here where it says launch app. I have an arrow pointing to it and you'll click on that to actually launch the app. And so that then opens up this screen and it gives you a choice of three different modes. So when we're in lab, you're going to be using the sensor data collection and you'll actually attach your sensors and you'll um, start collecting the data. Um, I'm going to go into manual mode and I'm actually going to open up the app real time and cut and paste some data in and show you the finer points of how to play with the program. So this is the screen when you open up the Vernier Graphical Analysis. And what I'm going to do now in real time is I'm not going to click on the sensor data collection. I'll show you that in a few moments. I want to just show you how to manually enter data and play around with the data a little bit. So I'm going to click on Manual Entry. And that's going to open up the screen like this. And then what I'm going to do is, in order to type in and add data, I'm going to first go up here and I'm going to click on my column options. And I'm going to name this time. And I'm going to make the units minutes. And apply. And then I'm going to do the similar thing here. I'm going to go column options. And I'm going to make this one temperature. And it doesn't give me superscripts, so I'm just going to do a capital C for degree C. And then I'm going to pull up some data that I have. So let me pause for a second and I'll pull my data up. So now I'm going to click on, hopefully this works, uh, here. And here is some data. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down through the time data first to the end like that. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to go back here to the other column for temperature data. And I'm going to scroll down and paste it in. And you'll see that that automatically gives me a pretty beautiful curve. And now I wanted to show you some things. So um, over here there are chart options. So I'm going to click on this and the first thing I'm going to do is edit the graph options. And I'm going to add a title and I'm going to call it um, Freezing Point Curve 
the floor more. And click out of that. And then again in the chart option, I can um, go to my graph options again. And here you'll see I have points. So if you watch the background here, you could make it line, you could make it point, or you could make it both. And I'm going to make it both for now. And then some other things I wanted to show you is up here, where there's this like funny little, um, I don't know what you call that, page setup sort of thing. You can just do the graph, or you can do just the table. Or you can do, I'm not sure what meter is, and that's probably for some other probes that you can use with the Vernier um, LabQuest, but we're going to show graph and table. Now, an interesting thing I noticed uh, when my students were graphing today is if you want to enter a new data set, um, so instead of adding like continue to collect if you add a new data set then what it will do for you is it will make your new data sets side by side and you can actually go in and look at all of the graphs um, if we were doing multiple graphs some other things I wanted to show you um, was it this one no, it wasn't this one um, was over here in the mode so today, because we were um, going to enter data for you, what I was just doing, I was in manual mode. But this little mode button here also allows you, uh, which we'll do when we're actually doing the lauric acid uh, graph, is you can make it time-based. And then over here, you could put in your time units. And when we're doing it um, with the lauric acid lab, you're going to want to click manually here so that you can manually begin and end your data collection. So I'm going to click Done for now. The other things I wanted to show you are um, ways to save the data. But for now, I want to go back for a minute, and I want to also point out that by putting in over here um, the labels for time and temperature, it gives me my time and temperature access labels also. So let me go back and show you some things now about the LabQuest itself. So I wanted to go back for a minute to the, um, the screen that you see when you open up the application. And the screen that we'll be using will be this one, and we'll be clicking on Sensor Data Collection. Now, since I don't have anything connected right now, if I were to click on this, it would give me some goofy message about you know, nothing, no sensor detected. So then I wanted to go and show you what the various pieces of equipment that we're going to use are. There's basically one lab quest and three different cords. One is a power cord, one is the temperature probe, and one is the USB, which is going to connect the lab quest that has the temperature probe to the Chromebook. So let me bring those up one at a time. So this is the LabQuest device, and this is the power cord. And what you're going to do first and foremost is hook up the uh, power cord to uh, one of the outlets in the lab desk, and then you're going to take this end and you're going to hook it up to the LabQuest. And so when you look on the side of the LabQuest, there is a series of quartz. So this one would be obviously your microphone. This one would obviously be if you wanted to plug in earphones for whatever reason. And the power cord one is this one right here. Notice the arrow pointing to it. So one end, this end would go into the outlet in the lab desk and the small end would go into this. And so the second thing we're going to be plugging in is a temperature probe. And the temperature probe has a temperature probe, der right here. And then the other end has a funny little white jack that reminds me of a phone jack for a landline kind of phone. And so that phone jack will go into, this is actually the top of the LabQuest. And so you're going to plug that funny little white 
plug right into here. And that then is your temperature probe. So one end of it will be into your beaker or test tube of lauric acid or whatever we're doing. And the other end would go into the so-called channel one. And so then the last probe that you would have to hook, hook up, or actually the last cord, cord number three, is your standard garden variety USB connector cord. And there's the USB part, and that goes into your Chromebook. And then the other end is, I believe, called a micro USB, but don't count on it. I'm not really sure. But anyway, this small end would go into the LabQuest. And so, again, that same spot where you would have had your uh, temperature probe in channel one over here is the micro USB port, which looks a lot like the things that hook up to our cell phone. See the arrow pointing to it? And so you would hook that up there. And again, all of these things you're going to have plugged in and ready to go so that when you um, pull up the screen for the uh, vernier graphical analysis, before you click on sensor data, you want to make sure that you have all of your cords hooked up and uh, the USB cord also one end here and the other end into your Chromebook. And so to summarize, when we're using these lab quests for labs, and we'll use these temperature probes a couple of times, you're going to have a temperature probe, you're going to have a USB cord, which connects the lab quest device, which is collecting data, to the Chromebook. And you will also have the power cord where, as I showed you, one end will go into the lab quest and the other end will go into the lab bench. So ultimately, um, what this would look like is once all of those things were connected and you opened up and clicked on uh, input, you would generate your curve. And this is a curve that some of my students generated in lab. And again, you can see the data is over here and you've got this cool curve um, generated. So I hope this hopes, helps with um, using these data probes, and I'm feeling like we're going to have a lot of fun with these in lab this year. This is Miss Augustine signing off.